Hello everyone, welcome to Techies on Wheel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about chat GPT. This is the new buzzword in the industry. Be it be any platform you visit, the very first one or two posts you see is definitely of chat GPT. This, this is the real buzzword in the industry ongoing for now. Since, since it's released in November, the craze has increased multifolds for chat GPT. But with this growing, growing craze, people who want to use chat GPT faces one very common issue, which is chat GPT is at capacity right now, which means that the servers are fully loaded and there is no space. Hence, they ask you to get notified when back. So we are going to discuss about the most easy way on to how you can still access chat GPT. You can log in or sign up to chat GPT within a minute. There are a few tips and tricks which I used and helped me to log in and sign up onto Chat GPT and use Chat GPT. The very uh, the the steps which you need to follow is that you just have to Google Chat GPT. Once you Google it, you have to open the very first link, which routes you to the Chat GPT optimization language portal. Here you have this button which says Try Chat GPT. You have to click on Try Chat GPT. If you are already signed up and the server is up, it will certainly route you to the very first page where you can just start and start chatting onto your on your chat GPT. I'll log out from here just to showcase. Just to showcase this video, I'll log out from my application. And what I'll do is I'll click on try chat GPT. It should route me to the login and sign up page. This is the expected page, but when the capacity is full, it generally routes you to the page which says that chat GPT is at full capacity. I'll try few of the times just to showcase that how that web page actually looks like. I think the server is available for now, hence it's not giving me that page. But I'll still try one more time until it keeps me server unavailable. And then you get this message which says that chat GPT is at capacity right now. What you need to do is that either you can click on this link which say, says get notified when back. You can click your email ID here and just click on submit or the, the easy way if you want to actually start using chat GPT right now within a minute or two, what you need to do is, is just a very simple one. You need to click on chat GPT and like you see, like you have seen within a minute, when I re-clicked on this button, it routed me again to the page which says login or sign up. And I can click on login or sign up if I have not uh, signed up earlier. And I can start using chat GPT on my own. The other way round could be that if I re-click say, and if I get that notification, which I'm not getting it now, but if you refresh the page multiple times, the, like here, if you see again within a minute, of time it has went on capacity right now so i will just do what i need to do is that i'll just click on refresh and there is high probability that you will be routed to login or sign up page and you can start using chat gpt the other shortcut i could suggest is that you can use vpn using vpn you can change the server location of your application and then open ai this chat gpt will route to the different server and you can still start using chat gpt so uh, what next? What's stopping you from using ChatGPT? Go explore it. We are hearing a quite a lot of good things and I've been using ChatGPT since a while now. So it certainly is useful. Go and explore ChatGPT. Thank you everyone.